Well, we're back again with Randy, and we were leaving off with talking about um, job uh, practical, side. practical side of things because even though you know we still got to share the Lord with them we've also got to give them some stuff the Bible says that if you close up your bowels of compassion for those that need then we're not really being very useful I mean we can we can say you know um, uh, you know, you need something, but, oh, I'll pray for you and walk away. Be warm, be filled. Yeah, be warm, be filled. Yeah, that kind of thing. That's right. Um, and, um, and so then, uh, but you actually do something. You, sure. You're a doer of the word. You go out and you actually do something. And, and, and we're going to talk a little bit more later, the next, the last segment, about all the things you're involved with and your ministry supports. Um, but there's, uh, uh, you wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the prisons, Tell me a little bit about how you, uh, you say you go to different events and, and you ask a question. What was that question that you say you ask people? Who so we, we take a, um, we do Praise in the Mountains and different events in our, in our area. And um, we, ask, we ask people as they're walking by, I ask them, how many prisons do you think there are in California? And the usual answer is somewhere between 12 and 15. You know, they, you know I think about, okay, San Quentin. Um, Alcatraz, do they use that anymore? That one that just had the riot at, and uh -huh. then they kind of guess that there's um, 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I, um, then I refer to the board. You have this, and, uh, this right here. Take yeah. a look at that. Yeah, and so the, I use that to, to illustrate the different types of um, correctional facility. Mm -hmm. There's um, eight different commun um, community corrections, um, juvenile, men's conservation camp, and then the answer, how many state prisons? Are there? There's actually 34, and we have 10 uh, federal, and there's over 102 county jails, different jails, mm -hmm. and so I use that to just help illustrate um, what our state looks like as far as human housing. Right, and so do you do you visit any of these or it others other as opposed to just the local? Sure, I'm also a part of the Bill Glass Ministry and Prison Fellowship, and so I've been to. Um, um, I've been to San Quentin. I've been to, um, you know, obviously Folsom, um, Avenal, um, Salinas Valley, um, Soledad. I kind of, I've kind of forgotten all the different ones I've yeah. been in. So I've, I've been to a lot of different prisons and been able to leave in the same day. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, so um, with this chart, though, um, what was, what's the one? Uh, what's the are there like mass, maximum security prisons? Sure, too? sure there is. There's there's all kinds of different levels. Uh -huh. um, a level one is a um, is a support, a low level, and a level four is um, is a is a high security prison. Now you know also at the same time I, I want you to you know I'm not a bleeding heart. Mm -hmm. We need prisons. There mm -hmm. are people that have forfeited their right to ever come out of prison. So I'm not the bleeding heart. But all at the same time, I, I hope those individuals find Jesus, and mm -hmm. their mission field is where they're at. Where they're at, yeah. Sure, and so. Yeah, my husband was a correctional officer at Mule Creek for over 20 years, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I was talking about it one time, and, and, <clears throat> and you know, he comes home and he says, you know, they, some of the officers just want to keep punishing the inmates. They've already been punished because they're there. They've already been sentenced. He says, I don't need to keep messing with them and so he gets a lot of respect from the inmates he, he walks through a, a yard and they respect him fully because they know who he is sure. and they feel safe they actually feel safe with him because he's a he's a godly man he loves the lord and he's just uh he he, he has respect because you know if you have respect for others they're going to have respect for sure. you and so that's kind of how he enters that and sure. and personally i worked at Folsom prison for five years and i worked in the lower yard and, and went through all that and and the thing is is that they're hungry because i ministered to many men and uh receiving receiving the lord and everything right there on the job you know and i had uh supervised a few but uh so they're people you know when you, you know? say that you know when you say that i, I think about um the, the bible talks about where much is forgiven much is, is required oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and there's been forgiven much in those um i've been forgiven much right. in those in those institutions right. so you're right about them being being hungry for the things of god yeah and uh having you're being responsible for much that means you have 
a more of a responsibility now. It's almost like a person who's had the most wonderful Christian life and everything's been handed to them, they're thankful, but not as thankful as a person that got pulled out of a pit. Sure. Okay, because I know I was pulled out of some things myself and um, was, you know, standing upright. That's why I have a ministry. If I, you know, otherwise I'd just be, you know, planting the flowers in the garden and, you know, cooking dinner. No, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the computer finding ways to reach people for the Lord, because I know what I came out of, and boy, I don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through, and the same with you. Sure. So um, there's a scripture here. I have to read it. I think this describes you and your ministry perfectly, and it's 1 Corinthians 15, 16 through 17. And I'm going to put your name in here, by the way. I beseech you, brethren, you know the house of Randy Haskins, that it is the first fruits of Achaia and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. You have addicted yourself to helping people. That you submit yourselves, I'm talking to the people that need to submit, that you submit yourselves to such a one like Randy, to everyone that helps and labors. And I am glad for that which was lacking on your part, they have supplied. Now, isn't that a cool scripture? That's like your ministry mantra. You know, and I know you have one here, uh, Matthew 28, 19. What's 28, 19? I haven't got that off the top of my head. Um, oh, 28, 19 is go and make oh, disciples. And make so, disciples, um, yes. Matthew, the, the 28th chapter, is the last one, and those are some of Jesus' last words. Mm -hmm. um, some of the most important words when someone is leaving, <laughs> yeah. um, when someone is dying, do you think somebody on their dying deathbed says, I want to see my coin collection? Or, I want to, <laughs> no, they're going to say what's really important. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus left, he, it's the same concept. He, he talked about what was really important. He says, go and make disciples. So you make disciples as well uh, from these individuals. Now, you, you also have a, um, a woman's side because you do a lot. You, you focus mostly on the men. And you have a house. Do you have houses or something that There's a men's them? house and a women's house. Okay. And so I'm not called to disciple women. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so um, we have a women's leader. Her name is uh -huh. Janine. Uh -huh. And so um, I mostly deal with the men. And so she deals um, with the, the women as well. Side. The women, you know, she's not called to disciple the men. And so mm -hmm. it kind of works that way as well. So she is really hands-on with, um, with the ladies there. So we have a men's house. And a women's house. Now, at the thrift store, let's go back to the thrift store. Sure. Uh, do you need donations? We can always use do no donations. And it's really hard to get people to thinking what we can use because they're, they're kind of thinking retail, mm -hmm. what we can resell. And, and, and that's true. But there's also kind of a recycling um, kind of process yeah. that, that goes on there. We do um, the best we can with what we have. And so we scrap metal, mm -hmm. goes one direction if, if things aren't working. And... Um, E-waste goes another direction, and books, the ones that we don't sell. Do you so. pay your employees, or do they are they volunteers? So it's the hands in the ministry that support the ministry. And so the ones in the homes, mm -hmm. um, that's the, uh, the trade-off for um, food, shelter, awesome. and, and clothing. Okay. We do have a few paid, employed people, and we're always, and we're even kind of looking for um, a couple paid employees right now. So, And so also, too, uh, you actually... Um, Def, have different uh, events that you do. As a matter of fact, here's one coming up, right? Uh, this is our fourth, our fourth annual. I don't um, know if you can see this. Can from, you see um, this? From 12 to 12. This is a community outreach. Um, first, it's an outreach to the community for those that are lost, and they'll hear that through the worship music and um, the different testimonies. Uh -huh. And then it's it's also an informational time about reentry. A lot of people don't know what reentry is. And then thirdly, it's a fundraiser. Um, we have to pay for the day. The um, the rental hall um, doesn't come by, by right way, yeah. by the you know you know a little angels bit about flying. Fundraising. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're doing one together. Yes, exactly. Uh, September twenty sixth, we're actually doing a fundraiser together at the thrift store. I'm going to be bringing some things in as well, and we're going to be able to um, share the proceeds to help with the conference that I'm doing for free in October. Because right, nothing is free. It costs to rent the hotel. It costs. I just recently learned there is something what? for free. What? It's the air that he gives us. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's the air that I breathe. Yeah. Well, pretty soon they're going to be putting tax on the air. Uh, I don't know. Um, but so how do we, how do we really, uh, for a personal person, and I know these are all the different things. We're going to talk a little bit later about some of the things you're involved with. But 
How do we really give hope to people? What do you say to them? Do you just say you need to receive Jesus, or is there something extra that you do with them? You know, I don't think anything happens without relationship. That's right. Okay. I think relationship. Um, our Lord was all about relationship. He didn't. Yes. Um, he never. He never preached to anybody. If you remember, he always fed. If if, if they were hungry, he, he fed did. them. You know, it's a little hard to think about. The things of God when your when your stomach is is so it's all for me it's all relationship nothing happens without relationship and so that's what I try to build on first mm -hmm. is that relationship and then we that's kind of the starting the starting base that's good so is there like a uh, a story that you know of somebody that said man they are doing so good is there anything is there anybody that's gone so far that they've got a good job or they you know they're you know anybody or do you do that you came keep up yeah yeah um, Terry um, was the first one that that really came through um, he was uh, he was in prison for 27 years mm -hmm. and so um, the outside had changed a little bit and so he learned a skill while he was inside um, Braille transcribing mm. and so he was he was with us a very short time. Um, I didn't think anybody would ever get through in the amount of time that he um, that he got through. Wow! But um, so Terry, um, he is off on his own. Um, he's doing well. He's he. I think he's coming up on his three year mark, mm -hmm. and the three year mark um, I'll tell you is a is huge. And so um, this is exciting times um, to see somebody. So uh, I know you don't do a lot with the women's side, but do they have um, different, uh, you know, well, hold on a minute. We've got a, uh, a break coming up, so okay. we'll be right back. Uh-oh. 